everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm running you through my morning routine. This is definitely more of a healthy habits and mindful morning routine and it's something I've been working on for a really long time to just try and find the perfect morning routine for me. So the first thing I do when I open my eyes is of course turn my alarm off and then I reach for my water bottle. I like to keep my water bottle right next to my bed. I keep it filled up so that in the morning I can just reach over, grab it and drink a whole lot of water. I feel like starting your day by hydrating yourself is a great way to go about things. After I've had that I like to run downstairs and make myself a really quick coffee. I like to drink coffee in the morning because obviously it wakes me up and I don't actually have another coffee for the rest of the day so I like to just enjoy this. It's like one of those little luxuries in the morning that I like to have a little cup of coffee and then I try to steer away from caffeine for the rest of the day because I feel like it irritates me a little bit with my anxiety so one in the morning will do me fine. I like to get back in bed with that and then start doing a little bit of journaling. So I have a notebook which is my five minute journal. I'm sure lots of you have heard of it already. After I finished journaling, however much that might have been, it could have been five minutes of journaling, it could have been 15 minutes, it honestly really depends. I like to just take five minutes to do a little meditation. Now for me, I don't meditate in, I suppose, the traditional way where you try and clear your thoughts. I kind of do a little bit of a law of attraction meditation is I guess what you would describe it as, where I just kind of visualize things that I would like to happen in life. I like to visualise how my day is going to go and just really set my intention for the day to try and make it as productive and positive as possible. I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction so I do try to do this every single day and it really does work. I love listening to high vibrational music while I'm doing this and I will usually just let it play in the mornings from my phone. I will link the playlist below that I use. It's just on Spotify. It's completely free to listen to. Once I'm finished with my journaling and my meditation, I like to jump out of bed and the first thing I do when I'm actually out of bed is I like to make it because if it doesn't get made first thing, it will not be being made. I love Mondays because the cleaners come and they make the bed so much better than I do. I can never make the bed as beautifully as they do, it's incredible. Um, but if I don't do it as soon as I wake up, it just stays in absolute state <laughs> all day. So I like to make the bed first thing. I feel like it's just one of my little healthy habits. Then I will just change into my workout clothes, which I like to leave right next to the bed on the ottoman so I can see them. It's just kind of a mental cue for me and it just means that more often than not, I do put them on and do a workout. I'm not going to stand here and tell you that I work out every single day religiously in the morning because honestly, some days I skip a day and I just do the evenings instead. But I feel like it's really good to just move your body, even if it's just for 10, 20 minutes in the morning. It doesn't have to be anything strenuous. I'm not talking a hit workout here. I usually go on like a 20 minute walk with the dogs or I'll do a 20 minute Pilates or I'll do some hula hooping and skipping. It really depends on the day but I do just like to try and move my body a little bit. Once I'm finished with my workout I head downstairs for probably my favourite part of the day and that is to make my first matcha. So this video is actually sponsored by the Matcha Reserve which is honestly so exciting because I absolutely love this brand. Oh my god I've been using this brand for such a long time. If you've watched any of my vlogs you should recognise the packaging on the little matcha tin because I use this literally every single day. I've been using it for months and it is my absolute favourite matcha. It's incredible. They have the traditional matcha and they also have the vanilla matcha if that's more your style. Do you have a discount code that will be automatically applied when you click the link in my description? Be sure to use it. Honestly, if you've thought about trying matcha but you haven't got around to it yet, try it out. There are so many health benefits I can't even explain. It gives you energy, it relieves stress, it boosts your metabolism it helps with bloating all of this oh my god blown away it's like a miracle product and i always try to have a match so to make the matcha it is honestly so simple i like to sieve a little bit into a jug and then i will boil the kettle and just pop a little bit of boiling water in the bottom i whisk that up until it's a little bit frothy then i pop it in my cup over ice i like to have an iced matcha latte it's just how i it's just how i do things around here i'll pop it in my cup over ice and then pop in some soya milk usually and also i like to use some honey i feel like honey is just the perfect sweetener for this it just goes really really well it doesn't taste like grass i don't know why people say that i think they're just making it wrong it tastes really really yummy it's one of my favorite drinks i also love the multivitamins from the reserve they are literally incredible they have vitamins a b and c which just have so many different health benefits and these gummies actually taste really nice i also like to take the hair skin and nail gum 
gummies which again taste really yummy they're packed with like amazing vitamins that are just going to help with nail growth help with your skin it's got amino acids fatty acids everything you need for healthy skin hair and nails so once i've had all of my vitamins i actually take my matcha upstairs with me and i hop in the shower that might sound a little bit bizarre to some of you but i always take drinks in the shower it's like this weird habit that i've got so I'll take my matcha in there with me, drink it as I go. I listen to some good music, put me in a good mood. So obviously when I'm in the shower, I do my everyday skincare routine um, and then obviously hop out and just pop some moisturizer on. I try to moisturize every single day because otherwise I'm like a little snake running about the house it's a bit gross i'm quite flaky <laughs> then i just sit down and do my makeup i'm actually going to run you through my makeup routine today so let me just show you that really quick hello so i thought i would really quickly run you through my everyday makeup routine because i do get quite a lot of questions on tiktok and instagram asking if i could do one an updated one and show you what i'm using on my face so firstly with primers this is one i like to use it is the mono skin illuminating primer spf 50 love that i like to apply my primer probably 10 minutes before i'm actually going to do my makeup just to give it a chance to just sink in so that my skin doesn't feel really really greasy while i'm doing my makeup because i hate that feeling now i'm going to go with concealer the concealer i use is the maybelline fit me use this for a really long time i absolutely love it i used to use the nars concealer but it was a little bit drying on me so this one works really well i go in with the shade 20 on my chin little line here and here my nose insides of my eyes and a little bit here then i go in with the shade number six and i just do one two three one two three do a little bit here as well i guess and then i will just use a little sponge to blend that all in i used to use a brush to do this but now that it's summer I like to use a sponge just because it thins out the product a little bit more and you can see my freckles through it and it just looks a lot more natural. Then I'm going to set my under eyes straight away with my By Terry powder. I swear by this stuff. It is absolutely incredible. It gets rid of any like greasiness and obviously sets your makeup really, really well, but it doesn't make your skin look really matte. It just kind of takes like that shine off of it but it still looks like skin it doesn't look really really dry or anything like that then i go in with my charlotte tilbury magic wand this is the contour shade in medium dark i think i'm trying to kind of go upwards with it um i put a bit on my nose i like to do that because it just really like defines it and then i do some round the forehead a little bit goes a very long way with this so and then down my neck ever so slightly and i'll also do around my lips a little bit i'll start down here blend it kind of across and down try and fake a jawline because i don't have the best jawline in the world And then with my cheeks, I kind of like to tap it in a little bit, kind of like tap in and up, like dush, 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 kind of like that, if that makes sense. For blush, I'm just using the Dandelion Blush from Benefit. Love this stuff. I think it's so pretty. Um, this is a very like natural, summery look. It's very like sun-kissed um, and glowy. A lot of blush, a lot of bronze, just a very like natural look. Obviously, I don't wear foundation, so you can see all my freckles through it, my skin through it. Now I'm actually going to do my eyebrows because I feel like my face just doesn't look right until I've got my eyebrows done. At the minute, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade in Dark Brown. Love this. And the brush I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush. It's got a little spoolie on the end and then an angled brush the opposite side. There you go, that is brows done. I feel like it makes literally all the difference. It really, really does. Now for eyeshadow, I keep it very simple. I, I sometimes feel like eyeshadow doesn't really suit me. So I don't like to wear a lot of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this big fluffy brush. I'm gonna use my Naked Basics palette, classic. I'm using the shade Cover. And I'm just gonna sweep this across my crease. Just kind of like windscreen wiper motions. I also like to use a flat brush and do the same thing underneath my lash line. And I kind of, not wing it out, but kind of pull it up a little bit more in the corners. Now I'm going in with this tiny brush from Zoeva. This is a 317 wing liner brush. 
I'm using the shade Undone out of the Naked Basics palette and I'm just going to do a little liner in the inner corner. I drag it in a little bit. I think today I'm also going to do a little bit of a winged liner. I don't always do this but I'm feeling a bit fancy today. Now that I've done my liner with the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. Pop a little bit of that on. Obviously, I've got eyelash extensions, so I don't need to put them on the top. The lip liner I use, I always get questions, is the MAC Dervish Lip Liner. It's a perfect match to my lips. You can't tell what's on my lip and what's not. So I overline my top lip, but I just line my bottom lip normally. I've always had a bigger bottom lip and then I'm going to go in with some lip balm this is one I like to use it is the Tropic Lip Fudge and it is a plumping lip conditioner I just use the tiniest little bit of this like literally the tiniest bit because I don't like having really dry lips I think it looks lovely and then I'm actually going to pop a little bit of highlighter on I don't always do this but I do sometimes the highlighter I use is from Burberry it's in the shade Rose Gold I'm going to put a little bit on the tip of my nose. And there you go. That is my everyday makeup. It's very natural. It's very easy. It takes about 10 minutes. It's not a very long process at all. I can do it in the morning with no stress. And it's not heavy. It's not heavy at all. It's just a few products. No foundation. I don't like heavy makeup. It just doesn't suit me. It doesn't look good on my skin, personally. So... Yeah, there's my makeup done. Then I like to just get myself dressed. Usually I like to wear something comfortable, but still cute. Um, you know, something that if someone knocks on the door, I don't feel ashamed to answer it. Um, so that's what I like to do. I popped on this new dress that I got from Zara yesterday. Isn't it beautiful? And that is pretty much it for my morning routine. There's not much else to it. It's quite simple. It doesn't take me too long, probably an hour in the morning. Everything I talked about in this video has massively helped me from the journaling to the high vibrational music to the meditation to swapping from coffee to matcha oh my god i love matcha i could go on and on and on about it i'm actually going to leave a little bit of info in the description for you guys to have a read on because the benefits of matcha is just absolutely incredible i really recommend you guys actually looking into it because it's just got so many health benefits thank you so much to the reserve for sponsoring this video i am so happy to be working with you you don't don't even know it i am so so happy to be working with you don't forget to use my discount code and the link will be in the description to check everything out thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to follow my instagram and tiktok and i'll see you next sunday with a new video bye everyone